The first thing you need to know how to do is correctly open the book. This book has never been opened before. You can actually just take the book like this and open it up. And the crinkling that you hear is perfectly fine. It's actually an unnecessary piece of cardboard that's in there that was used to keep the glue from uh, sticking onto the wrong spot. So don't worry when you hear the crinkling. Once you open it up like this, then you need to go ahead and take your fingers and um, push, the, uh, push the little thing onto the spine so that, see how you can open it up like this? And these books are uh, Smythe sewn, so they're very, very strong. So you can open it up and it lies flat. And then this back cover, once you've used your fingers to push it in, it'll stick with the back. Um, no matter which section of the book you're opening up, the back will, will not again puff out. So that's important and I wanted, to, I wanted to show everybody how to do that. Because this book is so well made, you can pull it like that and it lays flat. Now, how do you use the missile? Let's pretend that you don't have any holy cards and you're not marking anything in your book with holy cards, which is fine. Uh, you'll start out at the beginning of Mass. You can tell because we have a colored section. For the, for the ordinary of the Mass, we have a, a colored section. So you start out at the beginning of Mass and you're praying all the prayers, prayers at the foot of the altar, confidia, etc. And you're praying along and eventually you'll come to a part of the Mass that changes. And for the part of the Mass that changes, it's necessary for you to know what feast it is. Now, I was pretending that it's the Feast of Pentecost, so I marked Pentecost Sunday, because you always have to know what feast it is. Now, for a short prayer like the introit, which is usually only one or two sentences, I actually keep my thumb on the ordinary of the Mass and just read the introit since it's only a couple sentences. The Spirit of the Lord hath filled the whole earth, alleluia, and that which containeth all things hath knowledge of the voice, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let God arise, and his enemies be scattered, and let them that hate him fly before his face. Then I just turn back to where I was, and I go on. But sometimes you come to a part, for example, uh, the epistle, that is a, is a longer part. So what I would do in that instance is I would actually move the ribbon to where I was. I would read the epistle, which is very long. And then when I'm done reading that, I would move the ribbon back. So that's how I would do it. I don't think it's necessary, for instance, when you get to the offertory, the offertory is very short. It's only a sentence long. So I'm not a person who moves the ribbon just to read a single sentence. I just keep my finger on the ordinary of the Mass. Now two more points. The music. Uh, the Masses are numbered um, in a way that makes sense, right? Numerically. One, two, three, etc. So if you know, for example, you're singing Mass 4, then you just have to use the headers at the top of the page and again, these are strong books. You can take it like that, you can bend it back, and it's, it's, it's ex in incredibly strong books. Um, you can sing the Kyrie if, 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 if they're wanting you, the, the congregation, to sing with, uh, with the choir. And the Kyrie is immediately followed by the Gloria, so you don't even have to turn back for the Gloria. And then later on in the Mass, you have two other spots, the Sanctus and the Agnus. And again, those are things that you could um, turn to later on in the Mass just by using the numerical headers. For myself, I don't think it's necessary to have a holy card there because it, it just takes a second to turn to it. Finally, at the end of Mass, they'll announce a hymn that's going to be sung. And again, you can take your book like this and bend it back. Uh, they'll announce it by the number. And again, the entire book has one numbering system. It has one numbering system, not two. The pages and the numbers of the hymns are logical and uh, they don't use a double numbering system. So when they call out the number for the ending hymn, you just turn to it and sing it. 
There's no reason to mark the ending hymn with a ribbon or a holy card because first of all, they'll probably change it anyway. Uh, musicians tend to, you know, often do spur of the moment changes. But more importantly, it's the end of Mass, so all you have to do is turn to the number, and there you go.